is back with another video for you guys, and today you already see the shirt I'm wearing. Thank you, Mystery Wanda, for this Nintendo Switch that we just finally got the layer eyes on yesterday because, oh my lord, it is amazing. You may not be with us, but my lord, you left us with something amazing. So, wait, just got a text? Okay, but yeah, you left us with something amazing, Iwata. With that being said, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. So yesterday, the Nintendo Switch, oh, I apologize if I tend to call it the NX. I'm still getting used to it. Some people don't really like the name. I absolutely love it. The name is sick. Nintendo Switch, son. That is so dope, and more importantly, there's so many puns that could be made from that name, which makes it even better. But today, I want to talk about three main points of this, because yesterday I did my reaction, and if you've seen my reaction, you already know that literally is the definition of how I feel. Super excited, super pumped, and I absolutely love the system. I absolutely love it, but sometimes that day one, all the hype is going around the internet. I kind of got to let the hype die down a little before I can really get together, realize what I just seen. I got to rewatch the trailer a couple times because if you watch my reaction, I missed King Boo in Mario Kart. I didn't even realize that, which opens so many doors, but more importantly, doors for Smash Bros. NX that I'm going to be talking about in a video tomorrow. So stay tuned, my boys, because I'm going to be talking about Smash NX and you got uh, Smash. There, I did it. I did it. I said NX. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about Smash Switch tomorrow because, oh my lord, it's happening. I know it is. Anyways, so the three main points I want to talk about about the Switch that I like or just three main points I want to go over is one, the basic idea of it. The home console taken on the go. Absolutely love the idea. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't play much portable games at the at this very moment in time. I don't really play my 3DS much on the go. I play it all the time in my house, though. I've been getting into that 3DS Smash a lot lately. Like I've had it since uh, day one, but... For some reason, but I had the Wii U version too, so I play that normally. But man, I've been getting into the VDS, so my friend code's gonna be on the screen. Add your boy and come get these hands, because I am ready. I was born ready, and here I am. Come get these hands on Smash 3DS if you want them. That's another story for another day. But yeah, the basic idea is portable or console gaming on the go. And like I was saying, I don't really play much portable gaming today on the go, but that's mainly because I just don't like the quality of the 3DS, and to me, with that quality, when I could play better games on my phone... Play better games on my phone? Better games on my phone? Well, not better games on my phone, I'm sorry. Let's rewind. Let's not let that mistake go unnoticed. I said better games on my phone. No, better looking games on my phone. But there's by far better games on the 3DS. That's hands down a fact. I'm sorry I said that. I should just... I'm gonna... I just know people are gonna condemn me for that. But it was a mistake, okay? But yeah. So there's hands down better quality games on the phone, so I just feel like it's more portable and it's better quality, So and I only got a little bit of time, so I'll just pop up my phone. But when I'm going on like a trip, that's when I play my 3DS, but even then, sometimes I find myself not whipping it out because I just don't enjoy looking at that, that screen, that quality. And in the day and age where HD is so... Like, it's just, HD is the thing now, 1080p is the thing now, and we're getting to a point where phones are beginning to be quad HD, or they've been quad HD for some years now, and now we're getting to a point where phones are 4K. Phones are 4K, are you kidding me? So, to me, just to whip out a 3DS with that bad quality screen, it's just not really, I don't do it that much out on the go, you know, with the sun and all the light from the world <laughs> getting in it. It just makes it harder to see, and it's just not fun. But with an HD screen, with an HD screen on the go, full console games, that changes the game, dude. No pun intended. That changes the game. And I'm so excited to play. I mean, because I will do that. I will play HD games on the go, hands down. You know, I have like an hour and a half in college where I have no classes and I'm just gonna sit there and wait for my next one. So I would hands down bring that to college and just chill and play. Heck yeah, I'd be so down. And with a headphone jack, they decided not to have courage to take out the headphone jack. So, I mean, you could, I feel like you could really get emerged on the go with the HD screen and, and, and it could just be fun, man. And that, like on the go, that's what I've been wanting and I'm so happy to see it. And this has never been done before. So it's like, whoa, this is monumental. With that being said, that's how I feel about the basic idea of this. But moving on to the next idea of this is, 
I love, okay, I absolutely love the design. And I apologize if I lick my lips a lot, but man, I'm talking so much, just be <laughs> spitting all over the place, which I also apologize for. But the design of the freaking Switch is so dope. Oh my lord, this is the cleanest Nintendo console ever made. That's, I feel like that's an easy conclusion to come to. This is easily one of the sleekest consoles ever. This is one of the sleekest consoles ever made. I'm not going to go as far as to say the sleekest, but it is one of the cleanest gaming consoles I've ever seen. It is definitely Nintendo's cleanest console. The way the screen or the game comes out, or the controller comes out, and you can play it, and you can... Put it back in, and then you have a controller. Oh my lord! And then you got the two little detachable controllers, which is the biggest thing I want to talk about. Because watching that trailer, I didn't realize how much you could do with them detachable controllers. So let me just lay it lay it down for you. So the first thing you could do with them is attach them to the screen itself, the little tablet part of the NX, and you could go take it on the go. Or like we saw in the airplane scene, you could detach the controllers, put the screen back, lay back. Play your, play your freaking NX like this, okay? With each controller in a separate hand like the Wii U and Nunchuck. So that's two ways to play already. Then you can take those same controllers. They have a little, like, uh, I don't really know what it is. It's like a base, kind of. You put them in, and then that turns into, like, a little square controller. I'll put a picture of that right here, hopefully. Yeah, then it's like a little... Like a real controller, it's like a square almost. Some people say it looks like a puppy dog. I must agree, it does look like a puppy dog. I ain't even gonna lie. But that's not all. So that's three ways to play with those controllers. But then, you could detach both the controllers and give them to a friend and play them both each their own individual controller sideways. I didn't even realize that watching the trailer. It didn't even cross my mind. That's why I do these... My, I wanted to do my thoughts the next day so I could gather what I witnessed because what we witnessed was monumental. This has never been done. We have a controller, or I guess two controllers that you could play in four different ways. And not only that, you have another controller totally separate from those. And I think those are called the Joy-Con R and Joy-Con L, which is Joy-Con right and left. And then you have the uh, other controller that they showed. I guess that's going to be like the Pro controller, kind of. And that looks good, too. That's a good design controller, in my opinion. And oh my lord, just seeing them controllers and what you could do with them really is amazing to me. And they showed in the trailer, you could play split-screen Mario Kart on the go. On the go. Are you kidding me? Now I'm s Oh, man. Oh, my lord. But with that being said, that's what I think of the design. I think it's incredible. I think it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, we've never seen anything like this. And I was kind of down on the detachable controllers from the get-go. But looking at it now and seeing what they've done, I think this just has the, the potential to be absolutely great. The idea is so clever. Nintendo, you are clever AF. I love you for that too. But the next thing I want to talk about is something we saw... I would say a good bit of in the trailer, and that is the games, okay? So, first I want to touch on... No, I'm just going to touch on, on them all at once. So, in the trailer, all the games we saw... Let me, let me look at my little notes here. We saw Skyrim, 2K, Mario Kart, Splatoon, the new Zelda, and the new Mario game. We saw Zelda Breath of the Wild and the new Mario game as well. We saw a little hint of the new Mario game. So, we saw... What could potentially be the launch lineup, and if this is the launch lineup, let me lay it down for you once more. Skyrim, okay, and 2K. I want to touch on these two games especially right now, 2K and Skyrim. These two games have huge audiences. 2K, 2K is fun, I ain't even gonna lie, but that audience is huge. There's like, 2K has like its own meme on Twitter, dude. Oh shoot, Skyrim has its own meme too with the arrow to the knee, but that was like back in 2004, so we're not even going to talk about that. But Skyrim has such a big audience, and 2K has such a big audience, and those are two separate audiences from Nintendo, and two separate audiences in themselves. So, bringing those two games brings these two audiences that the Nintendo hasn't had for a while, or they could have had, but majority of those audience Nintendo hasn't had for a while so if they can take both those audiences combine them oh my lord and not only that they could please the Nintendo fans with these games right here Mario Kart Splatoon now some people are mad 
Sorry, my camera cut off. But like I was saying, there are a lot of people that don't kind of like the idea. Or not a lot of people, but there's some people that don't particularly like the idea of Splatoon and Mario Kart. Basically, they, because they're like ports kind of. But here's my thought on them. I'm down because it looks to me... Oh no, it doesn't just look to me. They are adding new things to the game. We have King Boo and Mario Kart. We have, And by the way, can I just touch on some? Mario Kart 8 was great. You know, there's not really much you could change. You know, it's HD now. Like... I just kind of start to think of what more can you do? I'm sure there's plenty, but I mean, they added the two items or whatever. They added King Boo, and who else knows what, who, who knows what else they added? So, I mean, I don't really want to go to that realm, you know what I mean? Like, I think, yes, it's a port, but it's upgraded, you know? So it's not really a port. It's kind of new. And then Splatoon, we got the new hairstyles, and who, who knows what else we got? So I'm not really going to go to you know i don't mind them at all and and the biggest reason i don't mind that is because the possibility of, of smash nx is now here and greater than ever especially the possibility of new characters because we have a new character in mario kart so why wouldn't we have a new character in smash bros and there's no way they're not porting that there's no way because mario kart's a huge game and splatoon's a huge game so there's no, I mean, if those are already getting ported, then Smash Bros. has to be, because that game's bigger than both of those. So, wow. Wow. But not only that, not only those two games, and Skyrim and 2K, but then we got the new Zelda Breath of the Wild and that new Mario game. And then the possibility of Smash being a launch game, too. So basically, is what I'm saying is that if this ends up being the launch lineup, dude, what the in the world? This is the greatest launch lineup ever seen by mankind. Skyrim. Now, yes, they these games have been out, but the Skyrim HD remaster is about to come out, or yeah, it's about to come out, I believe. Excuse me, but yeah, and then uh, 2K just recently came out, so they could easily put and those come out every year anyways, and not really much changes, which kind of gets annoying because they basically just add some new players, change up the rosters a little, and that's it. So uh, 2K, uh, get on your game, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but anyways, this could be the greatest launch lineup of all time, dude. With Skyrim, 2K, both have huge audiences. Obviously, Mario Kart. These are some of the biggest games that sold. I mean, didn't crazily sell the Wii U, but definitely up the Wii U sales. Mario Kart, Splatoon. Smash Bros, like, and then to add those on the NX and so many people who didn't get to play the Wii U because they didn't get it are going to be able to get the NX, have their Skyrim. I mean, oh my god, and not only that, you could take it all on the go. I mean, this literally changes the game and it has so much potential to have the best la launch lineup ever. I mean, this is absolutely insane. If you guys are not hyped as Nintendo fans, what are you doing? Like, dude, hop on the hype train, dude. All the freaking board, dude. Because it, I mean, oh my lord. This next Direct that happens, there is like a mini uh, Animal Crossing Direct. Don't forget that. They did say they were going to have a mini Animal Crossing Direct uh, this fall in their last 3DS Direct. So don't forget about that. But maybe Animal Crossing Switch? Who knows? Who knows, my boys? But... Yeah, and the next, like, full Nintendo Direct, I'm betting right now. If you stay to the end of this video, because it is long. I'm looking at the time. It's, like, 14 minutes right now. So, if you stay to the end of this video, my prediction is, and I'm going to make this prediction in tomorrow's video, is that tomorrow in the next, or wait, in the next Nintendo Direct, we will get a Smash character reveal. It may even be two, but they are going to open that Direct with a Smash character reveal. I think they should open it with it. And then they are going to cl or they are going to close with a Smash character reveal. One of the two, there's going to be a Smash character reveal in the future. I am betting on that. I'm willing to put my nutsack on the line. That's right, Etika. I'm putting my nutsack on the line, too. Because I believe it so much. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys think about the Switch, because I freaking love it, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Day one, with Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm getting the biggest bundle they got. I can't wait. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. You my target, no doubt. Yeah, something about you really stood out.